This is Rog and Adam and Brian. Come to see us at the Life Festival in Oshpienshim, 19th of June. See you there. We are Queen. Gentlemen, thank you very much for coming to Poland because you will be playing at um, um, Live Festival Oświęcim mm. in uh, in June. Um, as you probably know, it's very close. Uh, it's in the vicinity of the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp. So while I would never juxtapose these two things, uh, the festival does have, have have an agenda, and it it's against any sort of form of intolerance. Yeah. Um, how how does it make you feel knowing that you're going to be playing in such a place? It's a big thing, yeah. I, you know, music for us is is something for its own sake, but music can be a great force for good in the world, and I think we've always been aware of that. And if we can contribute to that feeling, and if we can make sure that the world looks forward and never backwards, I mean, I think the world is still in a pretty bad state. Personally, this is my personal view. You know, and we have a long way to go before we actually achieve compassion towards other humans and towards other creatures on the planet. So I'm all for it, yeah. I think mm-hmm. our, our music, a lot of our music also embodies that kind of sentiment in the lyrics. So I'm very happy that we're doing it. As you said, the world is, is far from a perfect, being a perfect place. We've got a war in Syria, we've got uh, troubles in Ukraine, there's North Korea, there's, there's Iran, the refugee crisis. I mean, is, is there a credible space for an artist in, in, the, in a movement towards world peace. I mean, what well, I, can be done? I, I think mu- music, as Adam gave this speech in, in his show last night, which I would thoroughly agree with, that music is a great force for bringing people together. Mm. And so it, it's, it's uh, against all those negative things. And, uh, and hopefully we can um, be part of that, that force, you know. And, and it, it, we've seen the power of, of our music around the world. And it gives people a lot of joy and a lot of hope, maybe, hopefully. But um, that's all we can hope, really. Uh, you know, as, as uh, artists, I think we feel very lucky that we've been in a position to, to you know, promote some joy and, and etc. I'm sure you'll be playing the greatest hits in, uh, in, in Oshvenshim. Mm. Um, is there perhaps something special that you might consider preparing because of that uniqueness of that venue? Very interesting. Yeah, I, I, I love looking at things like that. I love doing yeah. a, a little certain something in the set, which signifies the fact that we know where we are. Yeah, I love so that when you do the local, it. you know, like local language songs and. I love that. Yeah, Brian's so really amazing with that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think what they were saying is true. Is I think you know, music is the unifier. You know, it it reminds us of how we're the same uh, when we're living in a world that likes to remind us of how we're different. And you know, I you know what you were saying earlier about the significance of the of the venue and where we are. I'm Jewish uh, and I'm gay, so it's like, you know, both in the past and in the present, there's a lot of of work that's being done to try to create equal rights and tolerance, and um, it's an interesting time to be an artist and to have a public platform. Um, and sometimes it's important to um, be very vocal about these things and make statements. And then sometimes one of the beautiful things is that just by existing and just by putting on a show and having all these people come together, that's a statement within itself. You mentioned a unifying factor, music brought you together. If I can just bring you back to, to that time for, for a brief moment, when you realized that you are going to be performing live uh, together, what was it like for you, Alan, at, at that time? The beginning, the beginning was terrifying, actually. I was really nervous. But we did. But it worked yeah. out. <laughs> and I had my game face on. I was like, everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, don't give it don't give it the game Yeah, I don't give it away. I keep my my, my nerves yeah. close to my chest. Well, it obviously paid off. It, everything has been incredible. I'm i I'm still to this day so honored to get to sing these amazing pieces of music. Um, you know, fans of Queen come to these shows and they know every word. And to perform for an audience that's that invested in the music is like nothing else. But you are at ease uh, during these interviews and obviously on stage. I mean, you had to do a lot of nurturing. I mean, what, what was your role? How did you approach that? You know, it, it's not a question of stepping into Freddie's shoes. It's something completely different, isn't it? Absolutely not. No, and we sort of resisted that. We never looked for someone to replace Freddie. Not for a moment, actually. I'm no. sure Roger would agree with me. But suddenly he's this guy who can sing the songs and we see him on TV doing this stuff and we think, whoa. How interesting would that be if we could, you know, one more time we could go out there and, and do all these songs and, and here we have a guy who can handle it. Not just, to, you know, the voice, which is extraordinary in itself, but the persona, the presence. Yeah. And he's a nice person, you know, this is the bonus. We find that we like him and we love Aww. being with him. 
Yeah. But, uh, we can create. We can do what we always did, which is create. It's wonderful. Yeah. But also to find a voice which comes along once in a generation, you know, oh, yeah. it's uh, very lucky. But I also, you know, I also feel like this, these songs and Freddie's legacy, um, they give me a lot of freedom. Um, you know, the, there's not a lot of boundaries within the, the material. I mean, Freddie was super theatrical. He was camp. He was dramatic. His voice was really dynamic. There's, there's nothing in this material that, that encourages me to hold back at all. So it's, it's really fun. And it was fun in Krakow last year. I mean, how, what are your recollections? It was a, an incredible venue, fantastic concert. It was great. Yeah. So I was there very recently with Kerry, as you probably know. Polish people are great. Mm. They're very empathetic, I would say, you know, and uh, they get it. You know, you have a great emotional contact with an audience like that. I think it's going to be wonderful. Yeah. It's going to be a different city, perhaps a different audience, and obviously, you know, the, the legacy of the place. Yeah. Um, we have a history with Poland, don't we? Because although you couldn't come and see us in those days, everybody had the records, you know, sort of underground. Mm. And we're very conscious of that. People cry. A lot, you know, it, it makes me very emotional because we, mm. we've, in a sense, been close to Poland for 40 years probably, but now we have the chance to actually be there. Yeah, but you, you yeah. say a different city and, and different people, but you know they're not. We've been all over the world, uh, and and actually, when you get really to people, there's a fantastic similarity. Yeah, uh, and if they're enjoying the music, that that you know, they're, they're they're very similar in many ways, you know. Well, welcome to Poland again. Looking forward to seeing you in June. Thank you. Thank you.